ကုလသမကလုံခြုံရေးကောင်စီမှာပြီးခဲ့တဲ့ဩဂတ် 22 and helicopters to conduct aerial attacks on civilian areas. It is clear that we need to stop flows of jet fuel, M's, and money to the military hunter. My question, my question is what they are waiting for to save lives of people of Myanmar. Our, on our part, the vast majority of people of Myanmar are unified in opposition to the military dictatorship and its rule. What is happening in Myanmar is not a civil war, but a people's revolution against a violent and despotic military hunter. The people of Myanmar demand the removal of the military from politics and the establishment of a civilian Federal Democratic Union. The military is not capable of winning its war against the people. It is not capable of governing the country or managing the economy. And it is not capable of delivering durable peace or stability. Only, only an inclusive federal democratic civilian government in Myanmar can deliver those goals. And this is exactly, exactly what the democratic forces in our country are committed to establish, to listen to the voices of the people and to respect the aspirations of the people. The UN Security Council have to take decisive actions without further delay to save lives of the people of Myanmar, to end the military impunity, and to prevent further destabilization of the region. Therefore, I wish to appeal the member states of the UN Security Council to start now a negotiation process to adopt a follow-up and forcible resolution timely. I thank you for your attention. <laughs> နှစ်ချောက်ချောက်ကိုမြင်ဆောင်၂၂၂ခုအာနာတိန်းစစ်ကောင်စီကလိုက်နာဆောင်ရဲ့ခြင်းမရှိတယ်လို့ပြည်သ